first thing we need to do for configuring the soft switch is to provide our credentials, namely to create or reset the login and password as well as specify some key preferences of the interface such as language, currency and so on. This is done at My Preferences page of the soft. Click My Preferences link on the main menu to go to My Preferences page. Enter a new password. This is the password you will use to log into your system. Make sure it is a strong password, and do not forget it. The password must contain letters and numbers and be at least 7 characters long. Confirm your password here. You may leave default web login as it was assigned to you by SIPI support. SSP root. If you want to change your login for the system, go to Users section and enter new login in the Web Login field. Let's leave it as it is and go back to My Preferences. We need to select base currency for the system. This is the currency the system will use to store all financial information such as CDRs. System allows using currencies other than system currencies where appropriate, for instance for respective financial information related to vendors. For more details about using currencies refer the video training module titled Managing Currencies and Exchange Rates. Note that you can set base currency only at the very beginning of configuring SIPI soft switch while it does not contain any data. Once you enter other settings and data into the system, you cannot change the base currency. Let's set US dollars as the base currency. Next we will set the default time zone for your switch. The default time zone controls the dates and times of call detail records, logs OFR payments and billing periods. You can set different time zones for vendors and accounts. Let's select the Europe Athens time zone in this tutorial. Next we shall choose the default language to be used in your system interface. In a similar way to base currency, the default language can be set to different languages for accounts, customers and vendors. The SIP switch supports six languages, Arabic, English, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Turkish. Let's select English for this training. In this combo box you can select Excel or CSV format of files used for bulk downloading. For more details about bulk downloading please see how to bulk download video tutorial as well as SIPI soft switch handbook. Or press continue button to go on. For convenience, you can choose the default page that displays after you log into your switch. Let's select the My Preferences page to be first our default login page. In Name from Header field you may specify your email to receive various system information and password reset instructions in case you forget your password. Now we have set some basic preferences for our switch. Press Save button to save all changes. We have finished basic settings of My Preferences section. You can watch intermediate and advanced videos on this section to learn more about it. Now we are ready to proceed to adding and configuring users which is done in very similar way to setting in My Preferences section.